Hey, what's up, everybody? Chrissy here. Uh, it, it's kind of late, as you might see by my clock. I'm a little tired, but I'm I'm really excited to tell you about our new release. It's called Swifty. It's from my buddy Drew, and it primarily revolves around SPN commands. So I'm going to show you real quick uh, which commands those are. So we have Git Command Module DBA Tools SPN. So as you can see here, we have get DBA SPN, we have remove DBA SPN, we have set and test. And currently we are at version 0.8.705. So these are really, really cool commands. Um, I just want to show you, I'm going to run them against my servers. So I have this servers list and there's what, nine instances? Let's see. So we have nine instances that we'll be running them against. And the first one I'm going to show you is get DBA SPN. So this shows you what actually exists currently for the server. And these are just SQL Server related SPNs right now. So you'll see that we'll go all the way through. It's going to hit each of them one by one. And what it's doing right now is it's actually connecting to SQL WMI in the background. Um, but there we have it. It was it was super fast to find all of that information. The one that I'm super excited to show you about is actually test DBA SPN. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test DBA SPN, actually test for the SPNs that you're supposed to have. Um, and then I'm going to pass that through. I'm going to select the ones that I want to set and pipe that to a, to a set. So check this out. So we have servers, pipe that to uh, test DBA SPN. And then we're going to pipe that to an outgrid view. <laughs> Ask Drew about, uh, about how much he likes outgrid views. I don't know why he doesn't. This is one of my favorite commands. Check this out. So if you do a pass through, it'll give you the option to uh, select commands and then pass it to the next one. So then we're going to pipe it to set DBA SPN. Now what's really great about this is it populates so very quickly and running just one uh, server against the one that that uh, Microsoft has their their native one that one takes about uh, 51 seconds in my test and what I really really like about this is that it's just extremely fast uh, I've tested nine servers and actually um, in about seven seconds what I also like about outgrid view is check this out we just have to do what's missing so we type that in and now we get to see all the ones that are missing. So you can see SQL 2005, SQL 2014, and SQL 2016 have some that are missing. Now with 2016, it has, it's following bad practices, but our lab does have some bad practices. So we won't pass those. Um, now what we will do is we will just select all of these because they are valid and should be created. Just to give you a little quicker view, overview. So we'll look at the columns real quick. So we have the computer name, the instance name, the SQL product. So it does go and find that information. We have the instant server account. Uh, we calculate the required SPN. We let you know if it's set or not. Uh, it's also important just in general if it's a cluster because a, a couple things change. Uh, is TCP enabled? The port, the dynamic port, any warnings? So the warnings that we have are dynamic port is set, you know, consider setting a static, and then error, SPN is missing. So now that we see the ones that we want, boom. This is so cool. Now let's run it again. What this output shows you is that now it is set to true. So if we see, if we go to uh, get DBA SPN, we'll see these appear in the list. And I know you didn't get a chance to study the list before, but now they're going to be there because they actually exist, which is really cool. And then when we run the grid view again, then we'll see that when we go through and we look, we won't have, we should only have two SPN missing errors. And there we have it. Awesome. I want to thank Drew for this release. It's really, really exciting, which is why I was like, oh, it's 2.15 a.m. I'm going, I'm going to talk about it in a video. I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, to find out more, just go to dbatools.io slash Swifty. Just get Swifty there. Uh, we have a whole bunch of information. Uh, you know, we talk about how 
SPNs used to be set, how you can set them now, and then we give a little bit more detail about each of the commands. So cool. Uh, thank you so much for listening and watching, and I'll talk to you soon.